Hello everybody, this is Grumpy Old Guy Gaming. We are joined once more by my wife on a Tuesday. Going to be going in playing our third straight week of Battle Axe. This time, not going to be messing around with the story, going right in and playing some endless mode. Go ahead, let the opening play through there. Infinite mode. That's what it's called, infinite mode. Okay, so the missus is playing Faye the Dark Elf, and I've got ILO the Druid. Well, it turns out, had we just gone left, things would have gone much easier. Nice assortment of gems there for you. I laid this to a Poor unfortunate soul number two. <laughs> Still have yet to see the merchant this time. And now I have a bomb. Hey, there's person number three. And that's stage one in the books. <clears throat> Not bad, minute 20. Not the fastest we'll go, but... Ooh! Healing potion. Well, the bomb didn't do much, and I ended up taking a hit anyway. Turns out, juggling the items not to my advantage. Guess it was indeed time to use that potion. Yeah, that takes us to a dead end. Nice when the monsters drop directly onto the traps. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sadly, I didn't really want to visit at that point, but I okay. couldn't pass up the chance for some emergency chicken. Okay, now we're making some progress. Oh, that was number three. Okay. Two stages in the books. Let's see how stage three goes. Next time we see the vendor, it's all yours. Did you want that or yeah, here? Go ahead. Take the chicken. Another treasure chest. Ooh. And another chicken. <laughs> Go figure. Ooh. 
want to go up? Yep. Just needed to kill things through the magic of teleportation. <laughs> Probably my favorite of ILO's skills. I kind of expected that I would like to play as the sole female character, and I'm like, oh, magic guy, cool. And I'm like, yeah, back to female character, because go figure. You know, my wife's explaining her preference on character. Sorry if that's not quite coming through the mic as I'm just sitting here with one dinky headset. Sorry guys, still haven't figured out the audio for running through the computer through the switch with multiple audio sources. Are we going up or down? Like, going this Big old dead end there. Hey. Okay. Why, yes. There you yeah. go. Bonus hit point and a heal. And emergency chicken. Can't go wrong with an emergency. Don't be doing that. Make this easy. Okay, I need the chicken. Yeah, I'm getting chopped up trying to run in circles here. We need to get out of this part of the map. Finally. Not the best round for either of us there. Time for a little redemption here in stage four. And a nice quick stage four there. <clears throat> Just what we needed.
Interesting timing on that. Even worse timing for me on there. One more townsperson to go, and there they are. We got Flexner, and there's the portal. Okay, into the underground we go. No, you're good. Dead end on that side. New doors always bring us new friends, even if those friends are bear traps. Do what we can. Did we go right? We did. We went right. I don't think we went right. I think we went up last time. Oh, okay. Well, then let's go right. Yeah, there let's go ahead and get a hit point up. Yeah. That's always good. Get to be a slightly meteor wizard. <laughs> yeah. And then instantly waste it on a poorly executed teleport. Hey, okay. that happens. Oh, sorry about that. We missed you, dude. Sometimes you just don't go left enough. Apparently never. Okay, stage seven, starting off on a strong note. Now we've got all the magic and some charging goblins. That will work. Even more of the magic, and even more of the magic expended. See Xander Court beneath us? Now we just have to find a door. Oh, looky, a door. But this one was to a dead end. So we still haven't found what we were looking for. Up and around. Sometimes you gotta go up to go down.
That was getting a little bit dicey. Do you wanna... Nope, go ahead. I don't know, can you? What is this one? Speed is boost. Speed? Yeah, the S with the wings is a speed boost. Especially being more melee minded, I yeah, believe I the speed boost you. really helps with Fey. Well, that was just a whole bunch of bad news dropping from the sky, wasn't it? You may want to use your chicken. Yes. Did we go up here? Uh, I think, yes. yeah, that's the dead end. <laughs> this is the way. And there is the oh, gate. That really is the way home. Yep. <sighs> oh, cool. Stage. Stage eight now. Yeah, that was the portal. Oh, up here? Oh, fast. Well, we did get the four out of four. Oh, I guess we did. Wow, that was fast. Always be on the lookout for when you're rescuing the people. Yeah, you gotta watch those purple flowers with the exploding seeds. Oh, I forgot they exploded. One more to rescue? No, it's gone with the emergency chicken.
another dead end. And another dead end. Guess we got the drop on that guy. Sure. Yeah, I didn't think there was anything over this way. And there it is. Okay, stage 10. Crunch. Yep. Okay. Which meant that rescuing him initiated crunch time. Just back out of there, reassess the situation. I guess because he said that you got game. And let the spike trap help me out. <laughs> and that's life one down. Turns out you can't shoot through a treasure chest, kids. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was really hoping that would be a bomb or a scroll or something. Make our way through. Okay, merchant, welcome at this point. And we will grab the emergency chicken. I mean, at this point, the emergency chicken is just the necessary chicken. Pretty much. <laughs> I still think it's important you can explode them when you The exploding teleport is nice. What's even nicer is how quickly it resets. That is nice. I think Ilo's greatest strength is how quickly his abilities reset. Yes. Get the heck out of that room. Yeah. <laughs> Just rattle them bones a bit. Bit of a conundrum here. So the answer has to be down there, right? Oh, 
Oh, there's one. There's a... Yeah. Or it could be a dead end. Sorry. Yep, that's gonna do it for that run. <sighs> Just too cramped a room. First time through, did not make it through the tenth stage. Not the most efficient run ever. Yeah. Let's see how this stacks up. Okay, first and third, not bad. Nice. Let's say we do one more, huh? Infinite mode. I'll stick with ILO, but I'll switch to green ILO. You can change colors. Oh yeah, left and right change colors. I didn't know. Woo, nice. Wow, my teleport got cut off by a tree actually pretty dangerous situation there. Yeah. Of course so is trying to play hopscotch in a bear trap. I can't jump high enough. There's another. Yep. Why would we go up? This first round is not going well. No. Just can't get on the same page, walking into traps. Maybe next round will go better. Perils of getting caught up in the first stage. Hey. Do too much backtracking and the monsters really seem to pile up. Oh. So it is crucial to pick a direction and stick with. Yep. That one's not the right one. You can have the chicken. Thank you. Yeah. Finally through the first level, got the sharpshooter perk. What's that mean? On to stage two. Oh, a little old lady. Well, that's two down real quick. Sounds like the third is close by, maybe beneath us? Yep. Over before it started, we'll take that. Cool. Into stage three. Needed to get some positive momentum going there. Not going to lie, wasn't sad to see that drop. Important for the eyes to move quicker than the thumbs, which is really difficult in an action-centric game. 
This is a little mean. We've got a gate here, and it's right next to a spike trap. So I'm going to try... And all of that for a dead end. We'll take that. You have yet to come across the vendor. I'm okay with not coming across the vendor. Stage four. I'm sure the vendor will pop up in time. More importantly, we have yet to come across more untimely death. Yeah. Really, infinite mode should just be called not again mode. <laughs> Yep, you can go ahead if you'd like. Thank you. Okay. Tough to argue with that. Speed yeah, boost, yeah. extra hit point, and emergency chicken. Don't attack the bear traps. That was sneaky. And that's just flat out of that end. Sometimes simplest answer is best answer. This is where we started. Yeah, but was there an up? No. Yes. Yes, there was an up. Yeah. It got us hurt. There we are. One final kill. And after a couple of nice easy rounds, we find ourselves back in a bit of trouble there in stage four, but make our way through to five. Happily take that extra hit point, and that's about it. Quick rescue there. Quick rescue there. We're now up to four villagers per stage, so... Can't be sign relief just yet at two. But it certainly was a nice start to things, wasn't it?
merciful fifth stage. Yeah. Let us get out of there with a little bit of dignity intact. <gasps> and here we go, stage six, which is the start of the underground levels. Two down real quick. Friendly visit to the merchant gets you some health back. Actually a really nice balanced round for us at this point. So yeah, there we go. Keeping things rolling right along. Yeah. Nice easy rescue to start out. Make that too. Yeah, I don't really have enough coins to buy anything worthwhile though, so just kind of let that skirt on by. That is an end, yeah. My bad. Oh, that's cool. Hey, there we go. Well, now I have yeah, some more coins. Money. No, still not enough coins. Good townsperson number four is right over there. Now we just need to find a way to reach them. And I'm thinking we could either explore this level or try interpretive dance. Why not? Well, there's our portal through. Okay, stage eight. And I 
just blasting our way through as we are the blaster of disaster. Villager 3 is Insight. Just beard whip that door right open. Leave one coin behind to tell the tale. <laughs> Stage nine. <laughs> My lifeless body is just there. Well, I mean, that's nice in a way. You know, you made it to stage nine in A form. Oh, not the best teleport by me. That's going to cost me a hit point and a little bit of pride. There we go. Really wish it would stop giving me those plants. Cool. Wrong way, wrong way for that teleport to go. Just an overall bad time to be had in that direction. I know people are dead. Yeah. Don't you love it when they teleport on a trap? Take out a generator. Monster is nice enough to spawn there and die for some extra points for me. I am error. Rescued the greatest NPC ever. I am error. 67, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, suppose I could buy... Get full health and my speed boost. Right. That might help. Or I could already waste the chicken. Every time I buy the chicken, I end up getting hit two seconds after. It was so good you had to have it again. Really don't know how I didn't land two shots in there, but okay. Good news, I had a nice little dodge there. Bad news, it was all for naught. I guess I can't take the direct route to the door, can I? Just dropping things right on me, aren't they? Platypus Dan? Oh, there's Villager 4. And there's Game Over. Dang. Oh, uh, oh shit. I thought that was Game Over. No, you didn't die. I'm sitting there going for a drink and I forgot that I had yet to die. Now I just need to find a way back there, as I was pretty sure that was a dead-end room. It was. You mean the one you were in, or...? So if I head... Maybe down this way... No, no dice that way... This was definitely a dead-end, yeah, 100%. Only so much I could dodge there. Oh, 
that was a pretty direct hit out of nowhere. It's like, if I could just get to the next level, wouldn't that be great? Don't see it happening. Nope. Completely didn't see that shot. So now I can get that drink I was reaching for. Just an absolute garbage run for us, but one that leaves us with plenty of time for one more. I'll stick with ILO. I just can't... I can't get behind Rooney. Guy's just too slow. Doing a little controller maintenance here. These uh, switch controllers, not the greatest things on the planet. How do you switch to left and right? Left and right. And uh, now I'm all locked. Okay, there we are. And we finally got characters selected because that controller kept giving my wife absolute hell. Yeah, that was annoying. And I walk right into a spike trap. Believe me, I know how that is. Well, we found Milo. Villager number two rescued. And get out nice and safe. Yeah. Hey, I finally got an S rank. Congrats on the S. Thank you. That's not going to happen again, probably. We'll take the easy one there. Sure. Stage two in the books. Still rocking A ranks for us, so that's good. Nice bit of the old slice and dice by you.
money almost as spendable as currency. Well, that's more than enough. No, no, you're good. Good. I mean, you already bought the chicken, so it's a waste of money to buy anything else. Remember, you can only carry one item at a time, so. Yeah, that, that is a well-disguised environmental trap. Time to make the most of my extra hit point at exactly 50 coins. Good call on that scroll. First round of the four villagers to rescue, which is probably for the best, as we got three right off the bat there. <laughs> that it did. Blew up a monster. Give it the old chuck and pray and got a few points out of it. <laughs> well, it turns out I found another dead end there. Yeah, I took some real damage there. Found Eric fight. Thank you.
quite a long way to go nowhere. Indeed. But these things will happen. Oof. Just dumb by me. Walked right into it. That'll help. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Got a lucky angle there. Need the chicken? Yeah. There you go. Oh, shoot. That went right over the wall. Uh, life lesson there, kids. Always be careful the angle at which you pick items up. It's long gone. No. Still only one town's person rescued so far. And as I speak, we end up doubling that total. able to turn around just in time to get those shots off. Yay. That's four out of four. Yep. There it is. There's our gateway. Took a little while to materialize there. Okay, stage eight. Probably our best statistical round so far, playing co-op infinite mode. Now, Faye is good and meaty, and we're not just talking about the bonus chicken there. Freaking really. Life lessons.
trying to run into those knights, and that's usually where things get problematic, shall we say. Three out of four villagers rescued. Well, that gets us out of stage eight. That was a timely pickup. Nothing doing that way, so time to work our way back. Okay, don't forget, no deaths yet, so don't reach for a drink if you do run out of hit points. But yeah, I Be a good time to stock back up on some health. Nice job taking that night down before we exit it. Stage 10. Otherwise known as where it typically goes sour. Yeah. Many large explosions this way. Yeah, I'm okay losing the bomb at this point. Three out of five on the villagers. There's four. And there's five. Lo and behold, we made it through ten stages. Yay. 
made it back outside. Yeah, we did that last week too, yeah. Yeah, last week we weren't terrible at this. Last week we were actually much better. Ain't that something? Now here we've got all sorts of townspeople to rescue because we've still got to pick up five. Yeah, I gotta watch those red goblins. They uh they're gonna be chucking stuff at us. Mike McGrath. We rescued Mike McGrath. Got out of there just before the exploding flower wreaked some havoc on us into stage 12. And you know it's getting serious when you can't even get the stage number out of the road before a monster is dropped in your lap. Ooh. Saved by the pixel. Oh, yeah, I had a Also got to watch those little pustule monsters as they will release a bit of a poison cloud there upon dying. You got it. Well, that's five out of five. Now we just need that portal. I uh, think we may have hit stage 13 previously, but not tonight.
So, not gonna lie, could really use the merchant. Nice. Got to rescue six to advance now. Thank goodness. And we see our sixth town person right over there. Just when it looked like game over, we managed to salvage things, and into stage 14 we go. God. Oh, oh, there's a dead end room. There it is. Okay, halfway home on this level. Also finding myself exceedingly clot impaired. Thank you. 
just need to find one more townsperson. Smart use of scroll. Yeah, those wizard dudes, not the coolest. Because that gem was going to make all the difference. And that's where we'll have to end it. But hey, quality 15 stager to go out on. Can't really argue with that overall. We both got over 250 kills. And want to thank you for checking this out. This has been a grumpy guy. Uh, yeah, this has been a grumpy guy who forgets his own channel name. <laughs> along with the wife saying thanks for watching and we'll see you around.